today we are going to learn how to do a print and cut using the Cricut software. So I'm going to first go to the website design.cricut.com. I'm going to click on it and it's going to go ahead and it's going to bring up that website. All right, so we are on the main page here and I am going to go ahead and go into a new project. I'm already signed in, signed me in automatically. And now on my clean canvas mat, I'm going to go ahead and upload two pictures. Now I've already uploaded these pictures in previously because I've used them previously. Um, if you want to upload new, you can do so here, right there. So the first image I'm going to bring up is a picture of my daughter, Jackie. And you click on it and then you hit, you see that green border around it. You go ahead and hit insert image and it will come up. All right, so the pictures come up. I'm going to go ahead and upload one more design. This is Pepsi Cake Design, one of our ambassadors. This is her logo. I'm going to bring that up as well. Now, this logo is actually ready to print and cut, but I want to put this on cookies or cupcakes, um, in this case, a cookie. And so I need to make this a round image. So to start, I'm going to go into shapes. I'm going to click on a circle and I'm going to bring this out to the size that I want. I'm going to bring this to cover the area that I want the picture to be in. Um, so now I am going to go ahead and click on this image and I'm going to click, hit hold my shift key down and click on the picture behind it and I'm going to slice it. All right, so what you see here is this, the circle I created, the sliced result. This is the uh, leftovers and then Pepsi's image. So I'm just gonna click on this and I'm gonna hit delete. I'm gonna click on this image, hit delete because I don't need those. And there is my Jackie image. So I wanna make this image to be sized, let's say at um, two and a half inches. So up here where it says slide, size, I can type in 2.5 and it'll automatically, because that little lock's locked up there, create it to be two and a half inches as well. Um, I can also, if I want to resize, I can move, just basically grab and slide to the desired size. Um, to make sure it's exactly what I want, I'm going to type in 2.5. Um, you'll see this is a little off, because that space right here, um, is making it so it's cutting it larger. Um, that's fine because the actual left to right is correct at two and a half. It's going to make this image correct at two and a half. Now I want to duplicate each one of these. So I'm going to click on the Jackie picture and I can right click if I want to to duplicate or I can come over here and duplicate whichever I want. I'm going to do the same for the Pepsi design as well. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and Make it, you'll notice that I'm not lining these up in, in any fashion because when we go into the creation area, it's going to go ahead and it's going to do it for us. So now I'm going to click on make it. It's going to sort it for me. And here it is. It's ready to, to print. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And I'll go ahead and send it to the printer at this point. Now you'll see on the screen that you can add a bleed if you want. That eliminates white space around the image. So I like to add the bleed. I'm gonna go ahead and print now. We are using a Cricut adhesive mat. And the reason for this is that we have a backing on the image, which will allow for a food safe barrier. Since the image went through tab first, we are gonna Place this corner of the tab right up in that corner, trying to make it as even as possible coming down these lines. And then I'm just going to smooth it out for just making sure everything's flat. So the information on the food safe mat um, talks about what setting to st set the dial to with an icing sheet. Um, I set it to vinyl, went ahead and allowed this to pull the uh, the mat in and now it's ready to cut. Notice that I am using the fine point blade at this point and here it goes. Now you'll see that it'll cut within that bleed so 
If you look on the Pepsi image, you can see that kind of odd edge there. It will cut all of that out. Right now, the laser is looking for each of the four sides. It will pinpoint exactly where it is. So if you put your icing sheet on the backing and it's a little crooked, it's going to know that it's crooked so it knows exactly where to cut. What I like about this is I could be multitasking and doing something totally different right now. And this is doing all the cutting for me. No punching, no nothing. It's just gonna get, get all those precise cuts right out of there. And I can shape size these at any size or shape that I want as well. So logos, you can do all kinds of custom logos and it won't matter because you can print and cut it. And now it's done and it's gonna be ready to eject. I click that arrow and I have this. I'm gonna go ahead and peel these back and you can see how nicely it cut. Now, if it's very humid, you might want to increase the pressure a little bit on this dial so it will cut through, but this did just fine and it's humid here. Beautiful, it's that easy. Print and cut with your Icing Images edible printer and your Cricut Explore Air 2 with the Food Safe Bundle. Simple, easy, and saves you so much time. Thank you and happy decorating.